Hi, Shell Pointers. My name is Ruth Duber, and I'm here to talk about an event that's going to happen on the 29th of March. It's our Play Reader Cafe. It's uh, started out, actually, uh, with Shell Point's own theater spot many years ago. Uh, that started in about 2003. And then <clears throat> I was aware that some of the people did not want to get up on stage. So I thought, well, let's just have a more intimate setting and um, people do some readings and so forth. Well, it took off. And uh, we have been sold out for the last three years. This will be our fourth year to do the program. So uh, when you see the Shell Point Life uh, March, um, make that telephone call because uh, if you don't, you won't get in. <laughs> and we do fill up pretty fast. But I'd like to talk a little bit about it. I have two folks here with me. Uh, Ann Wharton, who's been, I think, involved in SPOT for many, many years. She, she was brave enough to get on stage. <clears throat> and David Hauenstein, uh, of course, the, you all know him um, from his program that he has every week, Listening to the Words. Mm -hmm. And without David, we would not have the Play Reader Cafe. I have to tell you that most of the material comes from David, and so I'm so grateful to him um, for providing that for us. Um, I believe in humor. I believe that laughter is just the best medicine, and so we've always done humor. And so this particular evening, we'll be reading little pieces. Um, uh, we're going to do a couple things that will be more like a little play. We're going to have refreshments, by the way. We'll have coffee and tea and uh, cookies and fruit. Um, it's an intimate setting with the tables um, around. And so it's a fun evening, but I'll just give you a little sample here um, of what we do read. So, Anne, would you please read this little piece here? This is just one e sure. example. And this is one of the nice things is that um, nice. everybody yeah. is allowed to, um, to, to read this. You don't have to memorize this. So this is no, very that, nice right. to mm -hmm. remember. Okay. During a visit to my doctor, I asked him, how do you determine whether or not mm -hmm. an older person should be put in a nursing home? Oh, my. Well, he said, we fill up the bathtub, and then we offer a teaspoon and a teacup mm -hmm. and a bucket to the person to empty the bathtub. Oh, I said, I understand, I said. Well, a normal person would use the bucket because it is bigger than the spoon or the teacup. Mm-hmm, that's right. No, he said, a normal person would pull the plug. Do you want a bed near the window? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's, I love that. I love that. That's a really good, nice one. Okay, Dave, have you got one for us? Yes. Uh, this is called A Rose from Mother. Okay. And uh, a man stopped at a flower shop to order some flowers to be wired to his mother, who lived 200 miles away. Mm-hmm. As he got out of his car, he noticed a young girl sitting on the curb, sobbing. Oh. He asked her what was wrong, and she replied, I wanted to buy a red rose for my mother. But I only have 75 cents, and a rose costs two dollars. The man smiled and said, come on in with me. I'll buy you a rose. He bought the little girl her rose and ordered his own mother's flowers. As they were leaving, he offered the girl a ride home. Yes, she said. Oh, yes, please. Can you take me to my mother? She directed him to a cemetery where she placed the rose on a freshly dug grave. The man returned to the flower shop, canceled the wire order, picked up a bouquet, and drove the 200 miles to his mother's house. Oh, that's wonderful. You see, some of the things that we read are, are rather poignant mm -hmm. and, uh, and have some meaning. But that's what we do. Actually, we offer all kinds of readings. We have a couple of authors that have joined our group. Um, our Play Readers meets uh, twice a month, uh, the first and the third Thursdays. And so we'd encourage people to join us. If you like, you can come in and sit down and listen. Um, I have a, uh, besides that, I have... A book of humor, and it's Dr. Seuss. And of course, you know, there's, there's only one Dr. Seuss. 
And he has some wonderful things in here about growing old. And um, I appreciate that. So if you think this is something that you'd like, uh, join us on the 29th of March at 715 in the Social Center. And I hope to see you there. And thank you very much. Thank you, Ruth, for always giving us inspiration and a wonderful laugh every day. Okay, thank, thank you. you. <laughs>